Hey guys, this is Dan from HowToHeatPress.com and in this short video I'm going to show you how you can quickly upload fonts to your Windows computer for use in Cricut Design Space. I'll leave a link in the description below to our blog post which has a few more details, has a few spots where you can get free fonts and some troubleshooting info. So to start off with you need to find a free font. Two of our favourite sites are fontbundles.net or Creative Fabrica. Uh, both of these sites have premium fonts that also come with commercial use licences. So if you're selling any products on Etsy or designing things for use on your websites or anything like that, then you can use these fonts. For this project I'm going to download this Daisy script. Daisy or Dicey. So I click on that and download for free. Save that to the desktop. That's nice and quick. And then come to where you've saved the file and now we need to unzip or extract. So left click, no that's a right click and extract all. And then Cricut uses true type font files. So you'll, all fonts, if they're compatible with Cricut, will contain a true type font file. So you can double click on that, which brings up a, a page with all of the versions and all of the bits and bobs, as we call them in the industry. And click install. So that's all there is to it. That, that font is now installed on your computer can get out of there. Now you need to open up Design Space. Bit slow. Welcome Naomi. Naomi's my wife. And download later. Create a text box. So this is how we'll find out if it's worked. And Happy New Year. So that's the standard Cricut Sans font. Click up on your fonts and search for the one you've just downloaded. So Dicey, Dicey, and yep here it is. Click on that and there it is. So that was successfully installed on our computer. If you want to move these individual letters closer together you can select them all, come up to the right hand side here, ungroup, and that allows you to shift the letters closer together so that they're linking and those sorts of things. And then afterwards you would need to weld them back together to be cut in one piece. But that's all there is to it. It's as quick and as easy as that. And if you've got any more questions leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.